Hello everyone! In this video I will show you a simple way how to move two different characters separately with mobile joystick, selecting them with UI buttons. Here I have an empty project with some art assets and a couple of scripts created. Don't pay much attention to these warnings. It will disappear when I import cross-platform input package, which will help us to move our characters with mobile joystick. To import it, I go to the asset store and type standard assets into search field. Here it is. Here I have import button already, because I downloaded it earlier. If you don't have it downloaded, then you will see download button here. I have it already, so I click import button. After a few seconds, import window appears, where we can select what exactly we want to import from standard assets package. We don't need everything for now, so I collapse and deselect two main folders here. Let's select what do we really need for this project. Expand standard assets folder. We don't need 2D, we don't need cameras, we don't need characters. Here is what we need. Cross-platform input. Check it in. Collapse it. Also we need to check in cross-platform input subfolder in editor folder. That's it. Now we can hit import button. After a few seconds we have it imported. If you use a recent version of Unity, like I do, then here some warnings about obsolete function will appear. It's not a big deal in our case, so you can clear them out with no worry. Ok, now let's set up our project. First of all, let's add a mobile joystick that will help us to move our characters. Expand standard assets folder, expand cross-platform input folder, expand prefabs folder. Here we have a mobile single stick control prefab. Drag and drop it into hierarchy. Here we go. This prefab has jump button by default, which we don't need for our purpose. Let's delete it. Expand this prefab in hierarchy, select jump button and hit delete button on your keyboard. Recent versions of Unity will not let you delete prefab component just like that. To edit a prefab, we will be offered to open it. So I open it and now I can delete that jump button hitting delete button. Once it's done, I can go back to our scene. Now select our joystick game object. I want my joystick to be scaled depending on screen size of mobile device. To make it happen, we have to add one component to our mobile single stick control prefab, which is canvas scaler. Hit add component button. To find that component with ease, I type scaler into component search field. Here it is, canvas scaler. Here in UI scale mode drop down, I select scale with screen size option. Now all of the UI elements, such as joystick itself and buttons, which we will add a bit later, will be scaled depending on screen size of the mobile device. Now let's create our characters. I take cat and dog sprites and drag and drop them into hierarchy window. I like to move game objects using physics, so I select cat and dog and add rigid body to the component to both of them. Set gravity scale to zero, so they will not be falling down. Ok. Cat will sit here and dog will sit here. To move our characters we will use the script named move. Let's take a look at it. Script uses Unity standard assets cross-platform input library. Here we have rigid body reference, move speed, direction x and direction y variables, which will help us to move that rigid body. In start method, we get control over game object's rigid body component and set move speed to 5. In update method, we give direction x and direction y variables a values depending on mobile joystick input. Those input values are changing between 0 and 1 by horizontal and vertical axis when we drag the joystick by the screen. 0 is central position and 1 is extreme position of the joystick by each axis. Those values are multiplied by move speed values, so we can pass any speed to our character. Finally, in fixed update method, we pass that velocity to a character depending on some conditions. So, if this particular game object is a dog and who is moved variable in character's control script equals to dog as well, then this game object is moved. Same conditions are for cat game object. Character's control script will be examined a bit later. Ok. Drag and drop move script to cat and to dog game objects. Warnings don't matter. Now let's create a couple of buttons to choose which character will be moved with the joystick. These buttons will be a children of mobile single stick control game object. So right click it and create new UI button. I rename it as cat button. Anchor it at bottom right holding alt plus shift keys. Set its width and height so it will have square shape. Give it a small indent from the bottom and from the right side. Button has text filled. We don't need any text here so I remove it. 
I want this button to represent a cat, so I drag and drop cat sprite into source image slot, and now this button looks like a cat. Very good. Now I duplicate cat button, pressing Ctrl plus D keys. This clone will be dog button. Rename it as dog button. To make it look like a dog, just drag and drop dog sprite into source image slot. Here we go. Dog button will be positioned about here. Ok. Buttons are ready. Now let's create characters control game object that will be responsible for character selection. Create new empty game object and rename it as character control. This game object will use a script named character control. Let's take a look at it. This script uses UI library to control UI elements. Here we have cat and dog variables of game object type. Serialize field attribute allows us to assign these game objects in inspector. In fact, these dog and cat variables are absolutely useless in this particular project. We are not going to control them from this script in any way. But if this project will be extended somehow in the future, then these two variables can be used to control character's health or score count or anything else. But again, in our case they do nothing. Ok. Next two variables are quite more important. They are cat button and dog button. These variables help us to control button's appearance, such as transparency. So, when one character is selected, the corresponding button has zero transparency and another button is semi-transparent, indicating that this character is not selected to move. These buttons can be assigned in inspector thanks to serialize field attribute. Cat button colors and dog button colors variables are responsible for changing button's colors, such as normal color, highlighted color, clicked color and so on. Normal color will be changed to semi-transparent in our case. Initial color and semi-transparent variables will hold those values for normal color option. And who is moved variable will tell move script which character is allowed to move at the moment. So in start method we set who is moved variable as dog, telling move script that dog will be moved when we drag mobile joystick with a finger. After that we assign a couple of methods declared below to cat button and dog button. Cat button clicked method will be invoked when cat button is clicked or pressed and dog button clicked method will be invoked if dog button is clicked or pressed. Then we assign cat button colors and dog button colors variables to current button colors. After that we set semi-transparent color to be semi-transparent and initial color to be non-transparent. And finally set cat button normal color to be semi-transparent as dog is selected to be moved at the beginning. If cat button is pressed then cat button clicked method is invoked. Here we set who is moved as cat and after that we make cat button to be non-transparent and dog button to be semi-transparent. If dog button is pressed, then dog button clicked method is invoked. Here we set who is moved as dog and make dog button to be non-transparent and cat button to be semi-transparent. That's it. Drag and drop this script to characters control game object. Select characters control game object and drag and drop cat game object dog game object, cat button and dog button into corresponding slots of characters control script component. That's it. Now we can hit play and see how it works in editor. Dog is selected initially, so we can move it dragging mobile joystick with mouse. And we can select the cat, clicking corresponding button and move it as well. And of course we can create an apk file and play this game on android device. This is how it works on mine. Hope this tutorial was useful for you, thank you for watching, see you next time.